Hi friends and happy fall. I hope it's starting to cool off a little bit where you guys are. I know here in Northwest Arkansas, it's starting to cool off just slightly, which means it's time to bring in all of the fall things. And all of the fall things are starting for our family. We've actually had a really, really busy few weeks with the start of school, that means football games have started and I've got kids that play in the band. We've had church events. It's just been a lot. You guys know how the fall is. So the video this week that I have to share with you is gonna be just a little bit different. I am working on some projects that I hope to be able to show you in the next couple weeks. But this week I wanted to put together just a video that's really pure eye candy. So in today's video, I'm going to share with you guys an amazing collection of inspiring fall setups in antique booths. Now, these are all images that I've taken over the years, and they come mostly from Antique Company Mall in McKinney, Texas, which is where I had my booth for a long, long time, and I still think is one of the best malls around. If you ever find yourself in the Dallas area, you should head north up to McKinney, head to the McKinney downtown square and pop into the ACM. They have incredibly talented vendors and I've taken so many photos over the years of gorgeous fall displays. So we're going to share those. And then I'm also sharing some pictures of some fall displays that I've done in the past when I had my brick and mortar store. So as we go through these videos, if you're an antique booth owner, I hope that they're helpful and maybe give you some ideas for how you can bring that fall feeling into your own antique booth. You'll notice lots of fall greenery like the pieces that I have here. You'll notice baskets, anything kind of a woodland texture, warmer colors, warm metals like gold and copper and brass. All of that creates that fall feel. And if you're not a booth owner, well, I hope that you enjoy looking through these displays because you can take what you're seeing here and take it back and recreate it in your own home if you find some items like this while you're out shopping at flea markets or the fall vintage shows that are coming up. You can know what to do with those gorgeous things that you're going to find to create that fall feeling. It's not about throwing everything out and just putting pumpkins in. It's about taking what you already have and accenting it with some things that bring out that fall feeling. So if you're ready, let's get going.
So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Like I said at the start, this video was just gonna be fun. Fun to watch, inspiring, full of beautiful things to look at, a little virtual shopping or video shopping instead of window shopping. If you are a booth owner and you're wanting some more tips about how you can bring those kind of holiday feels into your antique booth without spending a fortune, you can check out the video that I'm linking above right now. In that video, I share one of my favorite hacks for how to add those little holiday touches and to add that into your booth space without spending a ton of money. Also, if you want some more fall decor inspiration, you can check out my fall mantle video from last year. That's also linked up here right now and in the description. One other thing to share with you guys is that we do have these fall greenery pieces for sale in my online shop. Sadly, this one um, I believe is sold out. This is the last one I got and it's going out the door, but we've got lots of other styles. They're easy ways to add that fall accent to your home. I also have um, this necklace that I'm wearing right now. I'm getting ready to head out um, for an evening with my husband and I love this necklace. They are also in my online store and right now they're on sale and there's several colors of them. So just wanted to make you guys aware of those things. If you're not a Lost and Found subscriber, I hope that you join us today. We have a lot of fun on this channel and you guys have been a great community. Other ways that you can support this channel, you can always leave our video a like. You can leave me a comment. YouTube pays attention to all of that. All of that matters to their algorithm. And then of course, there's that super thanks button that you can click and leave our channel a tip if you ever find any of our content particularly helpful or inspiring. All right, that's what I got for today. I'll see you guys again soon. Y'all have an amazing week.